Today we have giant dominoes. And then a gravity assisted human catapult. And a machine designed to punch holes in castles. But today it's flinging people. Yes. All that and more on today's Steve's Makerspace. Hi, and welcome to Steve's Makerspace. I'm Steve, and this is my Makerspace. And we got a great show for you today. It's all some really neat builds, and we're talking about potential and kinetic energy. And all that is, is let's say you got an object, and you lift it up, and you put some energy into it, and now it's sitting there, and it's got potential energy, which means that you can release that into kinetic energy. Kinetic energy basically means the energy is being released. That's kinetic. This show is packed full of stuff and I got my robot helpers Norby and Vinny with me. So say hello guys. Hey y'all. Steve I think you should call this the flinging stuff around episode. I think we should go over some of the interesting math. Sorry Norby we're not gonna be going over any math today. Darn it. Show them the dominoes Steve. Will do. Making dominoes in Scrap Mechanic is pretty simple. All you gotta do is make slab and take out the bottom layer and you got a, a movable slab. Then if you want you can paint it. Then you set your slabs up next to each other and you just got to get the first one going somehow. You can't just hit it with a hammer because that'll just send it flying, which is fun, but doesn't make for a good domino effect. So what I've done is I've set up a domino on a bearing. Uh, this one is obviously connected to the floor, but uh, the bearing is connected to the controller, which is set to, oh, I don't know, 70 degrees or so, and then you turn it on. And it starts the dominoes going. Dominoes fall pretty slowly in Scrap Mechanic, so I've had to speed up the video. So potential energy is created when you set the dominoes up. A small domino creates um, some potential energy and then a larger domino creates a larger amount of potential energy. Um, there's a lot to dominoes. I'm gonna have a whole nother video just dedicated to dominoes and the domino effect. Now here I've got two uh, instances of potential energy. There's this giant weight up high Boom. And there's also the potential energy of my character sitting on the other end of that lever. Here's the top of the tower where I'm going to be putting the large weight. You can see there's a bearing connected to a slab. Uh, the slab is going to move at a 90 degree angle when I press a button near the bottom. Here's a funny glitch that happens when you remove a slab from underneath um, a lift. It just stays in the air until you get the lift out of the way. Okay, now I'll go down to the lever. Hey Norby, you wanna turn at this? I'll try, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be too heavy for this. All right, we'll give it a go. You can see the button's connected to the controller. Okay, I had to redo the end of the uh, lever so Norby could drive onto it. Here we go. Weight's gonna be released at the top. And... Oh. That was anticlimactic. Told you so. Yeah, you were right, Norby. All right, well, let me get on myself. Uh, do one more jump, one more whatever you call this. And, whoa! Yes, cleared the tower. Yeah, that was a nice jump, Steve. You're here. Thanks, guys. Here's another example of um, potential energy. The Newton's Cradle, named after Isaac Newton. To get this started, you need to raise one of the balls up in the air. Uh, that takes energy. Um, so then when you um, have it up in the air, then you've got the potential energy. And when you release it, then you have kinetic energy. 
Uh, this is also an example of conservation of energy because the um, balls in the middle are staying uh, still even though they could move but the energy is going through them uh, from one ball on the end to the other ball on the other end. Uh, so I've made a Newton's Cradle in Scrap Mechanic um, to set it up. I've got a bearing which I'm going to uh, basically raise a bar high in the air. So now I've set up my potential energy. Then I just release the bearing and doesn't quite work like a Newton's cradle should work. Um, the ones in the center are supposed to stay still, but they don't. Um, here I'm using a different material that's metal, didn't really work. Here's boots. Yay! Not so good. Here's music boxes. That worked okay, although still, you know, the ones in the center are supposed to be staying still. And here's the wood again. That was the best one. So would you call this a project failure, Steve? No, not at all, uh, Norby. I'd say I've discovered um, a greater understanding of the physics in scrap mechanic. And another example of potential energy, I've got two suspensions that uh, have been weighed down so they're really compressed and their suspensions are basically springs. After compressing the springs, I put a bar that's attached to the ground um, over the compression, compressed springs, and now I can remove the weight. Um, and the springs will stay compressed until I release them. So here we go, we're going to release the potential energy in these uh, springs. Hopefully I'll go flying in the air. Okay, and oh, that was disappointing. Well, it doesn't always work the way you intend it. That's why we do these experiments. We try again. Uh, now I've got um, compressed springs on top of each other. Let's see how this works. We'll uh, release the energy and hopefully, I think this time we'll go flying. Let's see. You can do it, Steve. Thanks, Vinny. I am prepared for liftoff in three, two, one. Liftoff! Woo! Yeah, baby! That's the way you do it! Now we're doing some serious science. And he nails the landing. Yeah! That was some serious kinetic energy there. Here's another funny glitch when I went to remove the uh, suspensions. They st stuck in the air, kind of like Minecraft. Isn't that funny? And now we come to the trebuchet. This was a machine used in the Middle Ages to punch holes in castles. There's a heavy counterweight that falls down that uh, makes the throwing arm go up. Uh, the sling goes up even faster. And then there's a payload, usually uh, rocks in the, in the sling, that get thrown a long distance. Here's a trebuchet built by Shredder in Scrap Mechanic. Shredder Gaming for Science. He was uh, kind enough to let me use his video. And it launches the duck high into the air. I think it's an awesome build. I'm going to leave a link to Shredder's channel in the description. Hey, thanks also for being one of my first subscribers on YouTube. I appreciate it. And here's my own trebuchet. I'll admit it's not as pretty as Shredder's trebuchet, but it works. This is a complicated build, so I'm going to have a whole separate video just for the trebuchet. But basically, I press a button, the weight gets lifted up a little bit higher. That makes the arm on the left come down, the sling comes un swinging underneath, um, and these locking mechanisms come down on top of the arm to keep it in place. Then these lift columns fold down out of the way. Here it goes. And now we can go to the pouch of our sling to load in our payload. Here we're going to put in a couple of pieces of wood. This pouch is like two hands holding an object, and when it, it gets to above the trebuchet, then the two hands come apart and the object just falls out. My payload's all loaded in, so I'm going to press the button. There'll be a slight delay, and then the arm is going to be released, and the trebuchet will be set into motion and fling our object. 
And that is a very nice throw. That's a lot of kinetic energy there. Yes. The sensor detects when this weight flies down. Uh, that activates an electric engine which opens up the pouch. Next, we're going to try flinging, flinging a duck. Holy cow, that's a serious flying duck there. Nicely engineered, Steve. Thanks, guys. Here it is in slow motion. You can see the pouch opening up here. And there goes that duck. Lots of kinetic energy there. Vinny, did you know that we have a lot of potential energy locked away inside each one of us? No, what you mean by that, Steve? Well, we each have talents and things that we're interested in, and we could sit on those talents, not do anything, just watch videos all day, and that leaves our potential sitting around. Or we could get kinetic, take action, get better at something, make a difference in the world, create something, and then all that potential that's locked up in us gets released. But I like watching videos. I don't think he's saying that we can never watch videos. Right, videos are fun. You just gotta remember to do other stuff. Alright, Steve. Well, right now, I think we should throw more stuff with that trebuchet. You got it. Let's throw a music box. Yeah, you're right, buddy. Steve, you should get in, man. Throw yourself. Yes. Let's do this thing. This is superior science. Yeehaw! Ouch. Here's a good close-up of the pouch release in slow motion. Let's get a good close-up on this one. You really releasing your potential now, Steve. So, what did we learn today? We learned that there's a lot of ways to throw stuff around without rocket. Yeah, well, Steve, I think we all understand about potential and kinetic energy. Just show the montage. Oh, all right, well, that's going to do it for today's show. Uh, remember that I'm going to have another video coming out soon on dominoes and another episode coming out on the trebuchet as well. That will be stimulating. Yeah, that'll be fun. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more Steve's Makerspace. Remember, Shredder's channel is in the description. And I'll see you later. Bye. Steve. Makerspace.